So, this isn't good. This is a BT fibre circuit. So we've got the router here flashing away at like a purple pink colour. And when you log into the router, it basically lists um, the internet has been unavailable. So, the other part of this, because it's fibre to the premise, it's got this NTU box, I think it's network termination unit. So here, we obviously got the fibre cable coming in from outside. Fibre here is on the pole. So it comes in, uh, to the building, down the outside of the wall, sorry, to the building, outside, down the wall, and in here, into this box. So this box has got its own power um, connection. It's also got batteries in it that back it up if the power goes. Now, I'm going to look at the power supply in a minute. But probably have to get BT to fix this because um, if that unit's gone, no way of fixing it. When I saw the BT engineer put this in, it does have a load of batteries that go in, um, and they are to keep it going if the power does go. I think ultimately you can it can be used for phone connections maybe in the future. There's like different ports. Um, some of it's for internet, some of it's telephone. But yeah, they're all off. All those lights are off. The whole lot. It's got a reset button. Might give that a go and see what happens. But see with that power supply or the unit that's gone. I think. Um, I don't think it's anything external. But yeah, it's good in there. So tracing these wires, I thought it was this one. But this is my Vodafone shore signal which is there so it's actually this and interestingly enough these are made by Hawaii so I guess the boxes as well so that's interesting everyone's got these in their homes with fibre to the premise but it's stone cold so it's the power supply that's gone 12 volts 1 amp uh, interestingly enough this is the same um, it's a 12 volt 1 amp yeah so what we can do if it's got the same connection on it is try it and see what happens these are horrible to get open these boxes anyway i think the batteries are in the top but we're not going to touch that we're looking at this power supply coming in here mm, don't know that's just, that's in like a standard connection but we'll try it anyway I'm up for trying these things. Otherwise, we're going to have no internet for at least a day. Alright, that's pushed in. So, this is the alternative power supply. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Power. So, it is the power supply that's gone. So, that's good. When that comes on, we should see this change colour because it should see the connection. It's always worth trying these things. I'll probably, yeah, still get in touch with BT though, just to um, get a replacement power supply. But um, yeah, if the voltage and amps match, you might as well just go ahead and, and use something as a, a backup. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking now that this power supply, this one that failed, probably failed a little while ago and the batteries inside there that provide the backup if the power goes. It's probably been running on battery this evening. Don't know how long this piece of equipment runs for. There we go, it's got the um, blue light for the connection. So yeah, interesting stuff. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and keep an eye on your NTU. See you later. This is the make and close up of the model of the plug used on the NTU, the BT equipment. There we go, it's focused. So I'm going to have to contact BT and get a replacement because uh, the other spare adapters I've got, they're, just, they're two amps, so I don't want to, I don't know, probably blow it up if I put a two amp power adapter on it. So. I right, can't stop fiddling. So, this, the bottom one would open the flap and put that the top one wouldn't there's a screw in the bottom right hand corner so this is the actual 
NTU unit with the fiber connection going into it and the network cable to the router and the power. Now this is the battery backup unit. So I was on the phone to the engineer and this is the power of my backup um, power supply because the main one's broken. So he got me to plug um, this cable down here which is basically the battery backup into the power and then um, just to see if it um, started it up which it didn't but this cable yes it wasn't connected to anything so and I don't know what they do but there should be rechargeable batteries in here I better unplug that in case they're not well it can't be anything because it's all gone off but yeah so backup cable is in there it doesn't power this um, I thought that the um, the power cable would go into the battery backup unit, charges the batteries, and the backup battery cable goes into there. That powers it all, but this comes up with a fault, so it's not coming up with charging at all. So, yeah, I don't know. I might talk to the engineer tomorrow. I don't really care, but um, I'm going to put this back, disconnect this one, and then connect this. In theory, if your power supply did go, sorry, yep, the power supply, you can plug in the battery back up. I don't know how long that would last for, but the others they can get an engineer the next day, so at least it keeps you going. But yeah, so we'll come back on now. So, yeah, I'll ask him about this and try and find out how this bit works or why it isn't working. So, this is all fixed now. We've got the uh, connection like there. We've got the new power adapter, we've got the shore signal one, which is plugged back into the shore signal device, and the NTU is all working again. So the guy from BT basically said that the battery backup in this unit can't be um, used for the fibre part of the uh, broadband um, fibre to premise, uh, only the voice, which isn't used on this NTU anyway. So. Yeah, all pretty pointless, and they don't install these anymore. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. See you on another one.